Hey what's up guys Dhruvan here back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to create HDR images with really funky colors and the fun part is that this is actually the first video by me discussing topics like camera raw and HDR so this is gonna be a lot of fun so let's get started Now first of all to follow this method we need to open image in camera raw now if you have a raw file that's simple job you just have to open the image and you will open it in a camera raw but let's say if you have a jpg file then what you can do so there is an option for that first of all you go to edit menu then go to preferences and there you find camera raw now i'm not sure about cs4 or 5 but in cs6 we have this option and in CC you have this option in filter so first of all let's go to camera raw and in the camera raw here in jpg and tiff handling you have to select open, uh, automatically open jpg with settings or all jpg supported what, uh, whichever option is fine with it so first of all I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna select the second one and hit ok now go to file and open any image you want so I'm gonna use this image and when I open this image this image will be automatically open in camera raw even though this is not a raw file this is actually a jpeg and now this uh, i previously worked on this file already so this is already an edited version of this image so you can go to this little icon here and select camera raw defaults so this is the actual photograph that was taken now HDR actually stands for high dynamic range and the purpose of HDR is to gain as much detail and colors possible so first of all we have to recover some details from the shadows and then from the highlights and these tools are marvelous they do really awesome job at bringing back details and if you have a raw file the output is going to be even better so keep that always in mind now I already have numbers that I chose but I'm gonna explain you why so first of all exposure I wanted to brighten it up a little bit a touch so first of all 0.50 exposure so as you can see this that's a lot of difference even though it's just 0.5 then let's go to contrast and i want to get rid of the some contrast so i can make it as flat as possible minus 54 and i'm gonna show you why i'm making it flat now highlights uh, highlights are minus 85 so this really helps to bring back that detail in the sky as you can see here if i make it normal and uh, let's make it down to 85 or maybe don't have to be super accurate so as you can see this brings back bring this my turn is really out of control today so this brings back a lot of details now let's start with the shadows now in the shadows plus 54 so when you increase the shadow it will increase the details that are in the shadows as you can see so increases the details and this is kind of a really easy compared to what you use adjustment layers not as versatile but still really easy if you are a beginner or something now let's go to whites and in the whites I have minus 38 so we can bring back even more details not a big change but just a touch as you can see so don't go extreme otherwise you will make your sky look dull so every image has different colors so your settings are going to be different but you should know what slider does what that's the purpose so the whites look fine and don't even look at the sliders or numbers look at your image whenever you are changing the slider so you can actually see what is going on instead of blindly following the numbers and now for the clarity part now clarity is a bit of tricky thing now at first uh, you might think oh my god that looks awesome I've got a lot of details but when you increase it more than necessary it's gonna make it blotchy and darkish I don't know what is the word for that but it definitely makes it look uglier so this is uh, good when it's in control so I'm definitely gonna use a limited amount like maybe 40 or something like that that looks fine or maybe even less now there is an option for sharpening let me find so this is the sharpening but I do not like this option because this just makes image a bit noisy and a lot sharpen you can use it in limited amount but still it's just not fun so if I zoom in and I increase the sharpening as you can see there is a lot of noise going on and I don't like that 
while the clarity is a different thing so it makes it image a bit sharper but using the contrast and that is much much better so the clarity thing better over sharpening so that's my just personal preference and sometimes if you have if you get lucky you can also use sharpening uh, without making it noisy or anything so always give it a shot so this is the second option here something that you are familiar with curves if you use the photoshop in adjustment layers or somewhere so this is basically the curves but with a little more controls over the shadows and highlights and as you can see here so i have numbers for each and everything noted down so first of all highlights is 13 to add a bit of highlight but this is not very dramatic change or something but you just have to keep uh, realize you have to keep it subtle don't go too extreme a step by step you can make it better but just don't use any option like crazy now the lights so lights are minus 16 so bring back even more details from the highlights and this is totally optional this is not going to make even really big impact it's just some my personal habits that I like to do whenever I am retouching some landscape or anything so the darks are also minus 12 so as i said earlier i'm trying to make this image as like flat as possible so you can also increase it if you like the flat even more like if you like it better so my speech is really crazy today i have no idea why but please bear with me so the shadows are minus 8 not a really huge impact i have no idea why i used it but i did so that's that so if I turn it on and off, you can see it makes a bit of a difference, not very dramatic. But this palette does a lot of difference. And uh, this is the original, if you see camera or defaults. And this is the custom settings. Awesome. I love it. So let's open the image. But before you directly click on open image inside Photoshop, hold your shift key. And then as you can see here, it changes to open object and then open it now why this so this gives you an advantage maybe this is only in cs6 i guess i have a good experience with cs5 so if you double click on this icon again you can actually use and tweak any settings anytime you want so this is totally non-destructive and that is what everyone wants so let's start with the color correction and this is what i have done and you can see this type of colors in i think michael bay movies uh, which are really funky and colorful this summer movie looks and so to do this first of all the major player is the selective colors as you can see here so this is no more big logic so let's start with the reds uh, so i can show you what i have done so here in the adjustment panel you can find selective colors the first one and then in the reds first of all i increase the red because we have red in the buildings and then i increase the red in the black so it will give it a bit more contrast with the red color and then uh, i also added a bit of yellow so yellow is the close color to the red so i thought it might work and it did and then also increased a bit of magenta but that doesn't make a bit of a difference so doesn't matter now let's go back and look at the yellows and in the yellow i have minus 100 and plus 20 so let me explain so yellow so let's add a bit of yellow in the buildings and the tones and then a bit of yellow in the blacks so this is the same thing we did in the red but uh, a little bit different so you can also try this slider but this slider doesn't make really crazy impact so you have to be a little careful because uh, we don't have any green and let's go to science so these sliders are there are so many sliders so a little little change makes a really big change so you have to be careful whatever you are changing otherwise it can change your image and you won't even realize that what is going on so uh, let's go to science and the cyan are definitely for the sky so i'm gonna increase the science and then i'm gonna increase the black uh, so also a bit of uh, maybe here in the yellow so that looks really nice and uh, i sometimes don't even totally follow it but as you can see this looks also better and this is also looks nice so maybe uh, let's go to blues and this is the same thing uh, let's go to blues so we are already here increase the science and increase the blues so that looks really dope and in the blacks we can also increase a bit of blue so it gives it that feeling of contrast 
so we are almost near and I think I have no changes in any else so you have to realize that what is the major colors in your images so here you have blue and red and yellow so that is you gonna play like th those are the colors that you're gonna use in your selective colors so if you turn it on and off this is really great change now if you're thinking that you can use just vibrance for it so let me show you what vibrance does so vibrance or saturation so playing saturation sucks totally sucks that is just terrible and even the vibrance doesn't look that great so this is the up output of vibrance and this is the selective colors so selective color is much more subtle and beautiful than the vibrance so delete the vibrance and play with selective colors now if you go back and you see i have a bit of curve and that is nothing it's nothing major just a bit of points to create a little contrast so this is kind of optional if you want to use it use it or don't use it doesn't matter so let's go to curves and I'm gonna make a little bit adjustment and whenever I'm working on image I do not decide that today I'm gonna use curves or something I just go with some options and then I see which one is working really good with the image I'm working on so every image has different story so you have to just kind of get used to it don't stick with the numbers or some permanent method now we get to use the vibrance to boost the colors to that funky level now these are bit of good colors no doubt but these are not funky or cool looking this is just natural but we want to take it to the next level right so let's go to vibrance and increase it full 100 percent i don't even care you can decrease it a little if you think these reds are intense a lot so that looks really great and we are almost done so let's see what we have next so this is the color balance to give it even a little bit more contrast so let's go with the shadows i have a little bit of blue very little and see i have selected this piece of luminosity otherwise it will not give that contrast it will be flat so let's go with the prism luminosity so let's go back and select color balance where is it here and in the shadows so i have selected the prism luminosity and increased the blues a little to give it that feeling of nature like in the movies you usually see in the summer movies so let's go to yellows oops not the yellows let's go to your highlights and increase a bit of yellow so that looks nice so the final output is ready and if you want to see the after before let's go here and i have this original image here so i i'm just gonna copy it press ctrl a and ctrl c to copy it and let's paste it here so uh, if i turn it on and off as you can see this is the image that we started and this is the final output which is freaking amazing and we did not even use any raw file it was a completely jpeg file and we used the help of camera raw to create this hdr image so tell me uh, this looks awesome to me so tell me your thoughts about this image in the comments so i hope you learned something and if you have any kind of question related to this video or my any other video feel free to ask me in the comments and how about hitting that subscribe button that can help me a lot so you can subscribe to my channel for my future updates or a like would be really appreciated so you can also check out this really awesome tutorials by tutors junction we have a lot of them so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop